Well, here we are on a Friday afternoon with the gearbox stripped down once again. Much mirth and merriment, I can tell you. And um, I found what the noise was coming from the gearbox, whether it was in any of the gears or neutral. And um, there's a tooth and there's a lay shaft gear missing a tooth. Now, I didn't put it in missing a tooth. But I've got a feeling that got broken off when the chain jumped going up that hill because uh, as soon as uh, we got going and got a bit of speed up after going up that hill and levelling out I could hear the knock 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 sort of noise from the gearbox quite clearly and I think the uh, camera picked it up as well. So <laughs> maybe originally perhaps when I first rode this perhaps the noise was at that time coming from the chain and the chain guard but uh, more recently I put this lay shaft in with the missing tooth actually and turned the rear wheel steady in the end of the shaft and you could get the knock 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 which I put a mark on the gearbox sprocket on one of the teeth actually a painted mark and uh, turned the wheel in neutral expecting that I might get the knock happening every time the painted tooth went round a certain point but it was actually going round faster than one to one. If you like, about three turns of the gearbox sprocket would give four knocks. And that would tie in, the gearbox sprocket is on that gear we can see in the back of the gearbox. And the gear it message, mess, <laughs> meshes with even, this one on the lay shaft, is smaller than it. So it will be going around faster. So every one turn of that you'll get, I don't know, perhaps about one and a quarter of on this one. So that missing tooth, the broken tooth, was the culprit for the noise and I think, like I say, it's probably been caused when um, I was going up that steep hill and gave it a load of throttle in uh, first gear and there was that bang. I think the chain slipped on the sprocket, then gripped and broke this tooth. But thankfully, I found out that it was down to the uh, chain tension going askew for whatever reason and um, I've dealt with that so hopefully the owner bought a whole spare gear set a week or two ago in order to get the elusive um, main shaft sliding gear that we wanted and uh, luckily that lot included another lay shaft assembly with gears with the same number of teeth so in it goes back together it goes and hopefully finally we'll have a four-speed gearbox in this thing working properly with no fuss no snatching and no horrible noises shouldn't be too far off now